Okay, so this is like the December edition. Sure, I'm recording this in October, but still the December edition. Um, now I made a video about this topic before, like when you know it's okay for a girl to hit a guy, and we do not have any rights to defend ourselves, but so they think we don't. And like I saw a status on Facebook today, and. It said that, um, you know, guys, you know, women, y'all need to take your uh, hand to yourself now because guys are just hitting us back. They, you know, a real man don't supposed to lay their hand on a woman because a woman is practically weak, physically weaker than us. And uh, what can a 100 pound or 120 pound woman do to a man? A man, you know, you know, a man who actually complain about one of them girl hitting him is a bitch. It's just like a, it's just like a kid, for instance, a, a grown woman being up a little nine year old. Now, the way the way that you know she says she's happy that she got a real man, cause he don't put in a woman. No, here, here go my thing here. One, one, women. Women, women, y'all are not as weak as a child. Two, when a woman actually hit one of us, the shit hurt. We not invincible. We can actually feel the pain. The shit hurt. We can feel pain just like y'all. Sure, if he car, you know, bar fit to hit the fuck out of y'all, it will hurt worse. Cause we are, yes, we are stronger. We are physically stronger than females. But it don't give the female the right to hit us. I mean, my little nine-year-old sister could punch me right in the face right now. I'm quite sure that shit will hurt me. And she nothing but like 80 pounds. I'm like 200 pounds. This shit will hurt. It don't matter. We feel pain. It don't matter how small you are. We feel pain. And y'all can't actually hurt us. A girl could black your eye. A girl could bust your lip. A girl could make your nose bleed. Knock a tooth out your mouth. We are human just like y'all. And we have we have actual feelings. So some guys don't show that they have feelings, but we have feelings that we don't like to get hit. And some guys don't be having that shit. They see you like a man, basically. You hit him, he gonna hit you back. You ever heard of the saying where your mother say, Don't hit nobody unless you wanna get hit back? It go that way. If you know that this nigga will beat the shit out you, whoop your ass, drive you across the goddamn ground, don't touch him. That's all you gotta do, just don't don't touch them. Don't touch them. I don't, like I said before, I do not approve on domestic violence. A guy that beat up his significant other, beat up your wife, your girlfriend, whatever the fuck she is to you, is wrong. You just come home just mad at something, just beat her ass, not cool. You just physically cause a harm on her just because you angry or just because she did something to piss you off or just because you can, it's not cool. I don't condone that. You shouldn't do that. But if she being the shit out, you hitting you, hitting you, hitting you, and you defending yourself, and you just so happy to hit her once after the fact that she hit you 20 times, you knocked her ass out, that's on her. She shouldn't have hit you. She shouldn't have put her hands on. She should not put herself in the predicament to allow you, I mean, well, to cause you to lay your hands on her. That was the problem with the society today. Women think they can get away with shit. They think. That we ain't supposed to do anything. They they all they, they ask for equal rights. And there go your equal right. You wanna hit a nigga? A nigga hit you back. This is how it is. Damn. I ain't personally wanna hit a woman. The thing I will restrain her. Like I said, I am we are strong. I could just pin your ass down, but I or I call the cops. Like yeah, y'all need to send a uh, police car to my house. Yeah, my girlfriend attack is attacking me. Yeah, I locked her out the room, but um, I, I'm calling, I'm calling y'all due to the fact that I do not want to hurt her. So can y'all please come take her ass to jail? Her ass be get a, she will get arrested for that shit too. Yeah, they ain't supposed to do it. They go to jail for that. Now guys don't want to call the police due to the fact that they want to seem like a bitch. However, if you hit her, you'll be a bitch too. So anyway it goes, you'll be a bitch. Or you let her beat you up like how Jay Z got beat up by Salons. He became a bitch. So you can't win anywhere it go. You let her beat you up, you a bitch. If you beat her up, you a bitch. And you call the cops, you a bitch. So 
Unless you call Con and you could be that bitch while she in jail mad as fuck. I'm just saying. But I don't know. It's just how society works. They just think that women could get away with shit. And we find out more and more and more that they keep getting their ass knocked out. They just, just clocking women. Just knocking them the fuck out. And we see why. Because they can't keep their hands to themselves. I see it all the time. Like, no man get away to touch a woman. They shouldn't even touch a woman. Like when I saw that goddamn, that damn old stub fighting this damn guy. She kept, he kept kind of getting away from her. She kept pulling her pants and trying to act like a dude. Kept ringing it, kept ringing it. And he hit the bitch one time, knocked her right out. Hey, why attack his ass? He ain't so dead, he so She kept ringing it, coming at him, acting like a man. He just hit her once. Snuff, he just snuffed her ass. And she just was on the ground like, like this. Like she was just paralyzed. Like, God damn, he knocked her the fuck out. But you know what? She had it coming. She constantly kept messing with him. He constantly said, leave me alone, back up, leave me alone, stop, stop, leave me alone. He just defended himself. Now, what she said, along with the girl, the status said that, she smacked you and you end up breaking her ribs. Now, that over exaggerated and shit. A girl smacked me. I just look at her. I'm not fucking with you no more because... If you give, you make me want to put these on you, I, I can't fuck with you no more. Because I don't want to be in jail. I don't feel like beating the shit out you. I don't feel like dealing with whoever you say going to get me to fuck you. That you're going to get to fuck me up. That, that's another thing that girls can start doing. I get my, you know what the fuck you are? I get this guy to fuck you? Don't, don't do that ladies. Please listen. I'm about to explain to you why you should not do that. If that person not present at that particular time, don't say that shit. You could say you would get Billy, you could get your uncle Boom T, your uncle Kill Grace, whatever the fuck his name would be, to fuck anyone up. But if that person not there, you could beat your ass and leave you on the ground while you struggle to call your uncle. He fucked me up. I don't know who he is, but he beat my ass. They be saying that to niggas that they don't even know. Oh, man. I ain't saying that they deserve it, but shit, you had it coming. Do not put yourself in that predicament. Don't. Damn. They're like, they're like I walk down the street. And these hood niggas are staring at me. Just looking at me cold, hard. Like seven of them. Now, why the fuck would I walk up to them and talk shit to them? Knowing I would get fucked up by all seven of these niggas. Just because I'm a one, a one, okay, just because I'm one person, it should be, it should be fair, it should be a one-on-one -on -one fight. No, shit don't work like that. Life don't work that way. And I got to have repercussions for my actions. So, me getting my ass beat by all seven of them motherfuckers, it's my fault. That's how I am. But girl, girl, ass beat by a guy who continually saying, leave me alone, can I get away from her? And he just so hit me and knock her ass out, she had it coming. It's her fault. That, that's that's my opinion. You could disagree with it. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck, Bob. I'm just saying. You y'all need to stop this shit. Y'all really need to stop this shit. Y'all need to leave this shit alone. It it is only gonna get worse and worse and worse. And I not hey, there is some girls that be guys' asses too. If you know how to do some form of martial arts, or he's just a bitch ass dude. But other than that, don't damn it. Like my friend, like my friend was talking about, she gonna, her, her sister was talking about, you need to knock the hell off that nigga, da da da. I like, listen, baby, I'm about to tell you this as a, as your friend. You hit him, remember this, he hit harder. Now make sure you let that sink it through your head before you take your light skinned ass over and knock the fuck out of him. And you come back here red, purple, and blue. I told you, show, that all I gotta say. But anyway, tell you guys, thank, make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe, and, and make sure you guys check out Where Did We Gone Wrong by Charles Bell, my cousin. Check out this book, the book in the description below at the very last link. This is a very inspirational book, and all black people should read this damn book, read this book. And also check out my book, Music with Your Own Value 1, the ebook at $3.03. Now, I still have another book out by now. It's, it's going to be out, but, you know, I'm just doing a damn early December video. It should be 
in my next one because I don't know, think I don't make the other two into I get that other book out. The other book coming out in November, but y'all probably gonna know that by now. Like I said, this is a recording way back in October. I think like October eighth, October 9th, one of these damn days. But this video gonna be posted December the fifth. So yeah, the the functions of habit, the ability to schedule your videos is badass. But anyway, I'm out of here. Peace out.